ございます今朝は東京都心から富士山がくっきりと見えています今日は予報今日は予報です今日は予報です今日は予報です今日は予報です今日は予報です今日は予報です今日は予報です If the map isn't entirely clear, the graphics usually are. Though I admit to being a bit puzzled by the cartoon figures that accompany the forecast. What is that fish doing up there, for instance? Since the day doesn't look like a total washout, I mark it as yet another one of Japan's great mysteries. As predicted, it is sunny today, but very windy. My morning walk brings me by one of Akasaka's Buddhist temples. I always enjoy visiting these. Even in the busiest towns, a temple is an oasis of quiet, a place to get away from the hectic pace outside. Of course, Akasaka can hardly be called hectic, but I notice the town has a rush hour of sorts, caused not only by its single traffic light, But even more by the fact that the old Tokaido was not really designed to let two cars pass at one time. They could widen the road, I suppose, but that would mean the end of some of the old houses here, which would be a pity. They're disappearing rapidly enough, being replaced by featureless prefabs that are far easier to maintain. Just out of town, I run into a group of Akasaka senior citizens. Wind or no wind, they're in the midst of their regular game of gate bowl, a form of croquet that appears to be a hit with the silver generation. The silver stands for the color of their hair. It admittedly sounds better than the gray generation. Yet, whatever the name, This generation is a rapidly growing segment of the Japanese population. Some 22% of the people here are 65 or older. Children under 14, in contrast, make up less than 14%. In a normal population pyramid, the numbers would be reversed, but here they keep getting more and more lopsided. In a good 10 years, the elderly will outnumber children by almost 3 to 1. These gate ball grounds will become far more crowded, in other words, though that will be the least of Japan's problems by that time. I head back to the inn because owner Kazuhiro Aoki is driving to Okazaki and offered me a ride. I ask him to follow the old Tokaido to the extent possible. Along the way, he tells me more about what this area used to look like. After a short ride, we reach Fujikawa, the Tokaido's 37th post town. Parallel to the old Tokaido runs the Meitetsu Line. Like the Tokaido Line earlier in the trip, it connects the post stations of old. I need to get to Okazaki, the road's 38th station. Yahagi Bashi, or Yahagi Bridge, now accommodates Route 1. In Hiroshige's time, it was the longest bridge on the old Tokaido. He shows a procession crossing it. It is relatively small, so perhaps it belongs to a government official. 
powerful daimyo made sure their procession would take up at least all of the bridge, if not all of town. In the distance is Okazaki Castle. The original is long gone, but it has been reconstructed, in no small part to honor Okazaki's most famous son, Ieyasu Tokugawa, founder of the shogunate named after him and born here in 1543. There are a number of Tokugawa clan related relics on display, but today the castle grounds host a different type of activity. Teruji Ito is head of the local bonsai society. Like any beauty contest, the different candidates are judged on a long list of qualities. And one by one, the participants drop out until there is a winner left. Like the winner of most beauty contests, this one too possesses more than nice curves. It also possesses wabi-sabi, a uniquely Japanese term which incorporates harmony, beauty, simplicity and age, and possibly a great deal more. That admittedly doesn't measure up to striving for world peace, but it leads to peace at heart. I like that explanation. It helps me to discern wabi-sabi in the bonsai and in the park surrounding the castle. As I test my newfound knowledge in these surroundings, I begin to understand how essential it may be to this country. Not merely as an expression of aesthetics, but also as an antidote to the lack of it. Because appreciation for small, simple, even insignificant things allows one to disregard the clutter surrounding them. And in today's Japan, more so than in Hiroshige's time, that can be a very useful quality.